Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading Monday, the 15th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit CFTs.com for your trading needs and certainly visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now uh, let's look at the actual market numbers, finishing numbers here for European session, FTSE up 20 points. That uh, still finishes above that uh, key uh, technical breakout level, uh, above 7445, helped by oil. Uh, given the rally in oil, let's just bring up the chart of oil for you. Give you an insight here in terms of oil, crude oil, okay, certainly pushing higher. Touching the pivot high of 49, I think, earlier today. 60-minute chart certainly has pulled back slightly, okay, looking at the daily chart here. Uh, still pushing higher, okay, so we've... Pipped. Bounced to that pivot low at 43. Obviously, we've hit a pivot high intraday high at 49.6, and now we're stalling around that 50, 50 to 61 percent. So just bear that in mind. Okay, the series of lower lows, lower highs still exist, unless we can obviously put a floor at around the 43, 44 level. Whether or not uh, OPEC cut extension by nine months by yes, well, Saudi and uh, uh, Saudis and the Russians are certainly touting it. Okay, whether or not that's sufficient enough to uh, neutralize the uh, the actual uh, shale gas revolution or shale revolution okay it'll be interesting to see in whether or not uh, the uh, the last uh, potential uh, court certainly has been neutralized we'll see whether or not this will as well okay now in terms of uh, the market in general it certainly seems like the weaker chinese data out overnight certainly has been ignored on that and a uh, certain market certainly seems to be focusing on the potential silk route uh, garnering uh, uh, further growth okay and that certainly has helped oil to a large extent as well and obviously not to mention the us dollar as well the us dollar index if i bring up the dollar index here folks okay you can see that we've certainly plunged the dollar index we certainly are trying to uh, attempt to fight back here at the moment uh, looking at a four hour chart as well give you more insight okay certainly bouncing off that potential support zone at present in terms of the dollar index economic data from the us certainly are uh, following on from friday certainly weaker and that certainly is causing the dollar index to fall and collapse okay even though we have had several uh, hawkish statements from the fed uh, the euro usd certainly touching the 1.1 zone almost okay i think we had the pivot high of 90 level 1.10990 was the highest of the intra intraday uh, certainly is having any effect on european equities thus far okay in terms of uh, european equities again german dax up 36 points uh, above that 12800 level CAC uh, above that 5400 level again, FTSE MIB 0.6% today. Okay, in terms of economic data on the Eurozone, uh, other than the uh, Italian CPI inflation data coming in strong and expected, there wasn't anything of any major importance in terms of sort of shifting the, the, the bias. Okay, moving on to the uh, <clears throat> German DAX here from a technical perspective, daily chart. Uh, the daily chart certainly has put in a potentially uh, a bearish uh, potential candle, okay, hanging man type candle. Okay, so we'll see whether or not the following day see exactly how price action reacts. 60 minute chart failed to put in a higher high or test the previous high. So, again, certainly an early sign of weakness as well in the German DAX. Bear that in mind. Certainly seems to have made a base around the 12, 7, 30 zone. We'll see exactly if that holds uh, support further down the line. Uh, potential double top is seen at to 12, 8, 30. So, we'll see exactly how the market responds and reacts at that 12, 8, 30 level. Okay, so just understand that. Okay, in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. The daily chart remains weak from my perspective. It's more of a bearish engulfing. So it's a bear flag type pattern, okay, consolidating within that red candle. 60 minute chart, obviously your horizontal resistance, 50, 61%. Okay, 10 minute chart at the moment, you certainly pierced uh, above and broken through that key resistance at 5113. The next resistance is seen at 5440. So it'll be interesting to see if European equities are, are attempting to reverse and move more lower. Or whether or not they're actually continuing their march higher so we'll see exactly how uh, european equities respond okay even with a stronger euro euro usd if i bring up the chart the euro even with a spike in the euro to an intraday high of 1.0990 the euro uh, the uh, the actual uh, uh, european equities certainly are having uh, are certainly not flinching at all i mean it's very very impressive very very impressive uh, no flinch no reaction whatsoever Phenomenal, okay, even with a stronger euro, I mean, we bounced from 1.0860 up to 1.0990, and yet no reaction whatsoever. Okay, one would expect stronger euro, it hurts exports, and therefore sends European equities lower, and that hasn't been the case at all, uh, which is 
Again, quite baffling. Okay. In terms of the uh, FTSE 100, uh, we have pierced up pre above previous resistance. Okay, so certainly made a all-time high and closed at an all-time high, and obviously that's helped by oil. Okay, uh, AstraZeneca certainly has led the, the the gains as well. The weekly chart at the moment still holding double top though, so we need a weekly close above that 7450 zone in order for the bulls to really certainly gain ground here. Bear that in mind. 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, you have an intraday double top at 7460. We'll see whether it can break that. We did actually close the gap below though. The gap higher certainly was closed. Okay, so that's interesting. See exactly how the market reacted there. 7435, then obviously subsequently bounced thereafter. Okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, let's bring the Euro stocks here. Euro stocks back into resistance around that 3640 zone. Okay, from my perspective, Euro stocks is the weakest link. Looking at lower highs here, okay, although we have made some sort of base around the uh, 3615 level, so let's take that into consideration too, okay. Okay, so yes, indeed, the uh, Euro stock certainly is the weakest link here, looking for a lower high, holding that FIB 75% thus far, okay, looking for a weakness here, okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, looking for the markets to move lower on the lower high basis. And looking for that gap to close below at 3580 so let's see how the markets respond now again looking for a lower high especially given the fact that the euro certainly has moved higher so therefore looking for that uh, lower high to certainly come into uh, into play okay so bear that in mind okay now looking at the 10 minute chart at the on the um, uh, euro stocks at present you're back into that resistance zone okay uh, it's whether or not we can actually hold that uh, daily chart on the euro stocks the bear flag scenario with the unfilled gap below and we have a massive unfilled gap at 3 4 30, 40 as well be interesting to see how markets react post macron post merkel obviously concerns with regards to populism certainly have abated and therefore uh, it allows the um, uh, mr draghi and co and the ecb to certainly err on the uh, side of uh, hawkishness so again uh, the markets will dictate and will certainly respond accordingly okay on that note uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly for applying for that 25% bonus. Also visit Trade Signal, Signals and market, up uh, market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.